Jed Castle's joining us now. So the wind machine cranks up, yeah. and then we're getting some rain later on. You know, these nicer stretch of milder temperatures start to think the bass fishing sassoon. There on the you way. go. Let's wow. go. We're getting close. Have yeah. you been lately? They're not. No, I know. I'm <laughs> itching. Yeah. So, you get itching for it, right? Well, well, I, you betcha. So I think we're trying to get that pattern changed to that milder weather. And it's going to be milder here with those winds kicking in. Uh, we are watching a storm system that's uh, out to our west. That's going to roll up across Oklahoma, and that should bring uh, some chances of rain and also a lot more wind as the system comes in. We'll talk about how this is going to play out. Right now, though, not a whole lot of rain uh, across Oklahoma. Most of it kind of holding off, and it's very light through the panhandle across Texas. Also through portions of Kansas, up into Nebraska, kind of holding off to the west. And most of this is elevated, so it's more sprinkly kind of activity this morning. As we look at our morning temp, 44 in OKC. We've got the wind chill checking in at 41. So a cold start this morning, but it's not as bad as where we've been. You know, yesterday morning at this time, we were in the low 30s. We are on 32, so we're higher than that here this morning. Some spots actually close to 50 right now with Guthrie 49, 48 in Shawnee and 49 in Midwest City. Winds are gusting right now about 5 to 10 miles per hour, but these winds will be picking up as that storm system gets closer to us. We'll notice those winds kicking in as well. So wind chills right now, they're running in that uh, 35 to about 40, 45 degree range. So enough you'll need the coat here, light jacket here coming up this morning for just going from your house to your car. So some 60s are on the way today. It's going to be a mild day across the metro area. Look for some south winds, a few clouds, and some 60s, and generally a dry forecast here coming up today. The rain out west starts to roll into the state about to 4 or 5 o'clock today. Now, as it moves east, it kind of dries out as it gets closer to central Oklahoma. More rain comes in out west as with a second round coming in this evening. And that will have a chance of creating some what looks to be some light amounts of rain, uh, about a tenth, maybe a quarter of an inch of some rain right there along the Oklahoma Kansas border late today into this evening. Main, main story right now is the wind machine kicking in. Winds right now generally are light. Those winds will start picking up as we go through 6, 7, 8 o'clock. And then by 9, 10, 11 o'clock, they really kick in with some gusts getting up to near 30. Could be closing in on 35 in a few spots. Yeah, it's going to be a windy day today with those winds increasing. They'll be sustained around 20 miles per hour by lunchtime today. Maybe they're 25 by 2 o'clock. So keep both hands on the wheel and be prepared. Gusty winds will be on that uh, drive home coming up this evening. 45 this morning. Should be a mild day. Some clouds, but a mild day today up near 64. Around the state, 40s cover most of Oklahoma right now. 51 there in McAllister, also Ponca. And winds, for the most part, are light in central Oklahoma, but they have started to pick up out west. And as that storm system keeps shoving eastward, we'll watch those winds pick up here through the day today. Morning wind chills, not terribly cold, but cold enough to need the coat or jacket here this morning. Well, let's check the weather up on top as the storm system moves our way. Here it is, lots of snow through the mountains, lots of powder for our ski lovers out there. Uh, through the Rockies coming up today, as going to tomorrow, that system rolls up across Oklahoma and it's well toward north by Thursday evening. Next storm develops out west. That'll be coming our way Friday into Saturday and that'll bring a cold front through. And that storm system moves across Oklahoma Saturday into Sunday. That's gonna spread some rain and a little snow up our way, so we'll be monitoring that as we go from Saturday into Sunday. May get some snow accumulation coming up over the weekend. Although it's not a terribly cold system, it'll probably be a wet, slushy-type snow coming up for that time. And then as we go into next week, we'll dry it back out, heading into the middle parts up next week. As the system comes in, again, it's going to be mainly a rain system, but there'll be a winter mix, maybe some snow coming in as the system rolls on in. Watch that chance of rain to snow mix across central Oklahoma, more likely chances in northwest Oklahoma out of the system late Saturday into Sunday. Got some 60s around, mid 60s in some spots coming up for today. Here comes your rain chance developing out west as we go into the evening. That will start to spread into western parts of Oklahoma. More of a likely chance of a light rain. And then by overnight, that starts to end in the west. Doesn't make its way a whole lot to the east. Mainly stays out west into the north where some light rain totals are expected there. Maybe up to a quarter of an inch in some spots. 40s and 50s overnight tonight, then warming it back up after the rain moves out to Thursday morning. Highs tomorrow 
in the 60s. Looks good. A few spots maybe near 70 tomorrow and again on Friday before some clouds, some rain, and cooler air rolls in. Like I said, not a terribly cold system, but cold enough for a cold rain. Maybe some snow coming in on Super Bowl Sunday. Lacey's got more on that here coming up in just a little bit. 40s for Monday. Right now, Valentine's Day. Next Wednesday, looking good. Highs up near 60. We're going to take a break. That's what your nine-day forecast.